Hey guys, Aussie Safa here. So um, I came across this app yesterday because I wanted to try getting into uh, Head Track IR, was it Face Track IR? So um, I found an app that uses an iPhone, uh, but only supports the cameras with Face ID. So you need to have that true depth camera to give you a full six degrees of tracking. So um, go to the app store, uh, well, better do it on your phone. And um, <laughs> this is the developer's website. So you're going to need two pieces of software, the app on your iPhone, and then you're going to need the open track installed on your PC. So there's a step-by-step -step installation here on the developer's website. It takes literally five minutes. Okay, so once you have got the open track open, okay, first thing you're going to do is go to run you're going to type in cmd which is the command prompt you're going to open that you're going to type in ip config press enter okay i'm going to blow everything out here because uh, it's going to have all my, all my addresses for ip and all of that what you need to do is look at your ip4 address okay that's going to be the address you type in manually on your phone app okay once it's started right you want to click this mapping settings here this is basically the curves of how sensitive your head turning will be do not click next step here because i found these settings are really really not great at all i did look around online and i found uh great ones actually uh so i'll put the link in the description here let me copy it for now you go and follow these exactly how it is it won't be exactly how I'm experiencing it. You may need to tweak it depending on your phone because I think every iPhone model has a different sensitivity. Anyway, but that's a good place to start. There's one thing I would follow is uh, invert the X axis. Okay, then press OK. Okay, so as you can see here, I've got my phone on the tripod. It's banging in the center of the screen. Uh, it works the best when it is in the center. So if you can put it above or below your monitor, depending on how you're set up, it will give the best results. If you have it slightly to the side, to the right or to the left, you will get more movement on one side. When you turn your head, you'll get more of a range on one side. So uh, for the best, leave it bang in the middle, right in front of your eyes, and um, you'll be all set. So okay, here we go. So. You get your open track open when you're loaded in the flight sim. You press start, okay? And then we're going to press the settings icon. And then your IP address should be here. I black mine out. You press start. But before you press start, you make sure you're facing the screen. Don't look away and press start because it's going to start calibrating it from the second you press start by where you're facing. So you press start, bang. Now I turn my head left and right. Our screens are turning left and right. So this is fantastic. If I look forward, I go close to over the nose. If I look backwards, I can look down. I can look up. I can look all the way around. Right. So let's go and take off. Right, so I am recording. All right. This gives a great experience, man. man. Once you start flying with a uh, face track IR or head track or whatever you call it, it is, uh, it's hard to go back to not being without it. Okay, so I rotate. I have a flight plan made. I'm gonna go and see Two, three, six is where I have to go to. So, two, three, six is this way. Let's we'll see if we can do some.
Which you look at that. This is Italy, by the way. So when you're also outside views, you could turn around. Look at that. Isn't that a beauty? Now, as soon as you're out of the frame, you'll lose tracking. So you have to make sure you are in the range, in the frame of your camera, okay? So you might need to tinker with it to find the best position. Okay, I'm supposed to go ahead in 236, which is about here. All right. If I want to go and look over the nose, I can. If you even get the settings right, you can even pop your head out the window. But I've, I've adjusted mine really carefully. And plus, I don't want to go out of range of my camera. Would you look at that? What a beautiful views we have in the Cessna. Okay guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like and comment below what you thought, if you found it useful, if you had a good experience using it, or if you need any help getting it set up. Um, if you do enjoy my content, please consider subscribing as I will be doing a lot more gameplay videos or video comparisons of Flight Sim. Um, I do make other content such as uh, drone videos, so stay tuned for those, drone and travel, GoPro videos. And um, I'll be doing more future live streams on YouTube and Twitch. So see ya!